So this is the dresser slash changing table. Just like our crib, this is Jonathan Adler for Fisher Price. It's a really cute collaboration. I love that he kind of added his own aesthetic to everything and he made it very mid-century modern looking. And we just added the changing table on top. It's an option that you have. And I personally really like the brass accents on here. We had to buy the changing pad separately. And this is one of those Aiden and Anai changing pad covers. But underneath we actually have changing pad protector too because I hear babies can get really, really messy, especially when you're changing their diapers. The sides are supposed to hold sort of your essentials. I picked up these water wipes. They're pretty much water and then a little bit of grapefruit extract. Everyone says that you need a little bit of butt paste. So I got myself some butt paste right there. We've got a whole bunch of diapers right here on the side. Everyone says we're gonna use this baby carrier, the Ergo Baby, a lot. For now, because we're not using this room just yet, I have no idea what I'm really gonna be using a lot here. I'm sure I'm gonna figure it out really, really quickly. So right now I just have some of the toys, the Sophie La Giraffe, which um, seems to be really controversial these days because of that whole mold thing. This little toy from a friend's little, it's made with like all organic materials. He has so many blankets that he got from all of our friends. They're all really, really soft. This one's just super cute. It makes my dog Mason go crazy when he sees it. Drawer number one, there are six drawers. This is actually stuff that I have already washed. Everyone says you need to wash everything before you put it on the baby. These are kind of like swaddler blanket things that people have given us. More fitted sheets just in case. I haven't washed these ones yet, but something tells me we're gonna end up needing those, so I, I didn't send them back at all. These are items that I have washed and they're really, really sweet. Um, my husband went to Berkeley. He's gonna deck out our child and go bears, I guess. All these cute little tiny socks and some mittens couple of little jumpers. This is a really cute little R2-D2 outfit. In the bottom drawer, I'm just starting to put stuff that we'll eventually start using with the baby. So pacifiers, we've got a couple of Wubba Nubs, these types of pacifiers, some teethers and toys. This is for the humidifier. I don't know when we're gonna end up using them yet, but they're little baby Ray-Bans. <laughs> they're from my friend Meg. They don't fit on my face. That is how small they are. They are so small. Okay, moving to the other side of drawers. We have, I love these blankets. They're even softer. A friend of mine got these for us because she loved them for her babies and they really are, they're so, so soft. Tippy and toes. We have another bassinet sheet. Again, I've been told you can't have enough sheets. Little bibs, Aiden and an I again. Look how cute this is. Cat and Jack is the brand. Look at that, the little old man sweater and <laughs> some blankets. It's so pretty and cute. Um, a friend of mine actually started this brand. I think it's called Any Mini. Any Mini. And it's all just like really cute basics with like primary colors for babies. Really, really cute stuff. These are really fun. They're from H&M. They're a little cool guy. Cool guy bibs. They're more like scarf. <laughs> He's like a little, little old man. And then his Aunt Red, she's our, one of our producers for mixed makeup. She's already starting to buy him really funny, cute outfits. This is a little deer outfit. <laughs> and then look at that. It even has little, you know, like the little dots that the deer get. And she's from Hawaii. So she went home for the holidays and she picked up this outfit, which won't fit him until he's about six months, but <laughs> it's a little Hawaiian outfit. It's really, really cheesy and super cute. This is all stuff that we have a lot of extras for. Some of it I can still send back, so I'm debating that, and that's why I haven't taken a lot of it out of its packaging. Okay, so right above the dresser, this is from Urban Outfitters. It was actually really cheap. I, th I don't think I spent more than like 20 bucks on this thing, but I just thought, you know, look how sweet. It's a bunch of moons. I love these um, paintings that I got. So I found this guy on Etsy. He hand paints all of these pictures and he's got this whole collection about elephants. So it's this elephant and a turtle and they're so sweet and they're under the stars and then it moves into like the sky with the stars and them sleeping together. <laughs> like it's so cute, like they're snuggling. And then if we look over here, I actually got this off of Urban Outfitters too because they have really cute stuff and it's kind of cheap. We've got our Los Angeles baseball cap because my husband is an LA guy and he wants our baby to represent. And this is a cute little, this is for when the baby is in the car and it's kind of cold. 
It's from Restoration Hardware, which I had no idea that they sold stuff like this, but a friend, um, a couple of our friends got this for us. It's almost like a sleeping bag that the baby sleeps in, and it even has these little, like, see this little hole area? And that's where the um, car seat buckle goes. And it has some matching boots. So, they're super cute. A little leather on the bottom, a little faux fur going on. They're just super, super sweet. This is something that a friend made out of an Aiden and a Nye um, swaddle. And it just, it goes over the car seat and it'll kind of keep the baby covered. Over here in this corner, some little odds and ends. We've got a little toy. We've got the Ubi pail, Ubi pail with like the extra diapers, a couple more shoes for him, which are really cute. Little humidifier. This is his little sound maker, his little noise maker. My husband actually sleeps with one of these too. Um, a different brand obviously, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like father, like son. And then this is just a little ottoman that I got for the room, it's cute. Easy to sit on if you're playing with the baby. So this is our crib, I love this. It's um, Jonathan Adler for Fisher Price. I really love this uh, collaboration. He's sort of like a creative director for Fisher Price right now, and so he's just putting out a bunch of different furniture and baby goods and everything with his eye and aesthetic. This is not part of the crib at all. Look how cute this little guy is. His name is Lamb Baby Nat. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, we'll put this down on the floor. I'm not really sure, maybe in our bedroom or something like that, but I have it in here for now. In here in the crib, um, I got this organic mattress. Everybody said go organic. There's an organic mattress pad also. And an Aiden and an I um, crib sheet. It's really, really, really soft, but the actual mattress is really um, firm for the baby. And then you can actually flip it around and it gets a little bit softer for when he becomes a toddler, which is kind of cool. So it's, you know, you're gonna be able to use it for a little while. We got a ton of different little blankets for the baby from our friends. They're all really, really soft. There's kind of like an elephant theme going on in the bedroom. It wasn't on purpose, it just started happening. But look how cute this guy is. <laughs> the thing that makes this crib really awesome too is that it's a like three-way convertible crib. So it starts off for the baby and then it can turn into a toddler bed and then it eventually turns into a full-size bed, which is kind of crazy to think. It's got all these like adapter pieces we have yet to buy. I guess I gotta get on that so we don't miss the boat. So this bed is hopefully gonna stay with us for a little while, um, unless he just wants something kind of outrageous and crazy when he's like three and he's like, I want a car bed. But we have over here, if you join me, this is kind of the closet that will be for the baby, but right now it's still our storage, so I'm not even gonna show you what's in here because it's a disaster back there. This is the baby's little hamper. There's nothing in there yet. And then I got this little ottoman. Um, it's a kid's ottoman from a woman. Um, she's got her Instagram is Flea Market Fab. She does these flash sales on Instagram, Shop Flea Market Fab. And um, she has all this stuff that she sources from Morocco. And I just thought, you know, this was really cute and awesome. It had little tassels on it. Those came off immediately. <laughs> they just fell right apart. I have a feeling my dog had something to do with that. So I got these little stools. Um, they're Philippe Stark for um, Cartel. They're the Prince Aha stool. Um, side table. So some people use these outside. I liked them for inside because they come in these really nice pastel colors and you can actually open them up. They're hollow and they're kind of like a plastic material and you can actually store stuff inside them. So I'm not sure what we're going to store just yet, but and then over here we got a little white one. This is the glider that we got. I absolutely love this. Super, super comfy. Um, I think it's going to be a great place to kind of spend time with the baby. I got this lamp actually from overstock.com i think it's just a cute lamp it'll give us some light and um it'll be a good place you know to read and to to breastfeed and stuff like that we actually had a friend stop by she has two sons they're kind of past that point where they want mom to read to them they're more like in the rambunctious boy we just want to play phase now so she brought over a ton of books but then we've also just been getting a ton of books from friends we got these acrylic shelves so that we can just kind of put whatever we want on them but you know we got some of the books we requested on our registry books that you know kind of are nostalgic to me um i remember reading this as a little kid the very hungry caterpillar good night moon um make way for ducklings the first time i ever went to um India with my husband. We went into a bookstore and they had this little book of the Hindu deities. And it's just kind of a cute way to explain the religion that he grew up in. Kind of like in more of a cartoon way. So it tells us who they are. It's a really sweet way of learning about his family's religion. We got this frame from a friend, from my brother-in-law's girlfriend. 
Um, and we just put a picture of mom and dad in there for now. Here's a little baby book. We haven't started it yet, obviously, because the baby's not here. And then I feel like everybody has this crinkly, crinkly peek a baby book. We've got these books. Some classics again. Brown bear, brown bear, what do you see? Guess how much I love you. This one has made me cry several times. I don't know why. <laughs> so sweet. I've started reading them to the baby just because I read somewhere that, um, you know, if you get the baby used to your voice and some of these books and stuff like that, when he actually comes out, he might actually recognize the sound of it. I don't know how true that is, but I'm trying again, I'm going for it. Spending time with the little one. It's not a huge room. Um, it's actually the perfect size, I think, for a nursery. But there is a bathroom attached, which is really, really convenient because we'll be able to bathe him in here. We got one of those pudge tubs. I'll, I'll explain what that is in another video <laughs> one of these days. But we'll be able to bathe him in the sink for a little while um, while he's still you know, teeny tiny. Um, let me turn on the lights. Look at these. I have a feeling they might even be annoying, but they're the cute little hooded towels. Um, we got a couple of these. A friend of mine said, you don't really need fancy baby towels, but these were gifts, so they're pretty awesome. Just super, super cute. Look at that. We've got a ton of the baby products in there. And that's it. That is my nursery tour. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna continue putting on a lot of like the pregnancy updates, I mean, I'm hopefully <laughs> almost done with this pregnancy. Um, I'm 38 weeks right now. I'm gonna do a video on some of the registry items that were really highly recommended by some of my mom friends, um, and then some other kinds of videos. And then I'm also gonna do more beauty again on my personal YouTube channel. So if you subscribe, the more you subscribe, I guess the more I'll start updating on this channel. So thanks for watching.